Greg, you have a little bit more on this. Yeah, let's turn now to uh, Shane DeAprile. He's the editor of Campaign and Elections Magazine. He joins us live from Washington. And Shane, what's your reaction to this vote? Uh, you know, it's interesting. I think that the margin by which Congressman Paul won that 37 percent was a little surprising to me. Uh, the simple fact that Ron Paul has won another straw poll I don't think is earth-shattering news. I mean, the one thing that his supporters are very good at is packing auditoriums uh, similar to this one, and, and we, we've seen it at CPAC for the past couple of years, turning out in force for uh, straw poll victories. Uh, the problem is that those straw poll victories have never really translated into uh, any actual momentum in terms of the the GOP primary. So I'm not all that surprised that Ron Paul has won, but seeing where Rick Perry is, that's got to be a concern for him, fourth place. Yeah, no kidding. All right, well, something that may be meaningful, uh, as opposed to the straw poll, is New Hampshire. I want to put up on the screen uh, the latest polling data out of New Hampshire, one of the first early primary states for the Republicans. Look at this, Mitt Romney, 37 percent, Herman Cain jumping up to 12 percent, and Ron Paul is at 9 percent, Huntsman's after that, and Rick Perry is way, way down at 4%, Newt Gingrich 4%, Michelle Bachman uh, 2%. Is that something, as opposed to the straw poll, we really should be paying attention to? Uh, certainly. I mean, I think that uh, the polling coming out of places in uh, Iowa and New Hampshire uh, and South Carolina much more important and, and useful as a barometer uh, than what happened this afternoon at the straw poll. Uh, but I think you see Herman Cain's placement in that New Hampshire poll you just referenced, uh, a very strong showing at, at the value voter straw poll. So, uh, again, I mean, Herman Cain is certainly on the rise, and, and we, have not, we have yet to see that ebb. So I think that that's, uh, you know, the other interesting component of this uh, and see where his campaign goes from here. Clearly, Rick Perry's collapse, which I think it's almost fair to call it at this point, certainly benefiting not only Mitt Romney, but Herman Cain. Speaking of Rick Perry.